John, it's always tough to lose a football match, but a late winner at home in the derby, it's, it's always tougher to take, isn't it? Tough to take, yeah. Don't think we did enough second half, to be honest with you. I think, um, I think Bones were able to frustrate us second half. There was no football played at all. I thought it was a really poor game second half. Um, I thought neither side played any football at all. Um, the second 45. First half we should be goals up. Um, I think we were frustrated at half time because we should be we should be at least two, maybe three up um, first half. But we've not done enough second half to, to, to win the game or maybe even get a draw out the game. Um, the corner's so avoidable. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a poor bond at the box. Uh, Cammy Thompson should probably just let it go out, but maybe he needs to be spoken to to let it go out and then we don't deal with the first ball. We're not quick enough to seconds and then Louis Kennedy finishes it. So. Yeah, frustrating, frustrating. Um, after the first five minutes, it's just domination. You know, we, we, we should be goals up. We dominated the ball, created a number of chances. Thought Conor McKenzie was excellent on the left-hand side. Thought Young Fozzie on his 18th birthday was outstanding at centre-half and Jamie Allen was probably the best player in the park. So, 
yeah, some positives, but we've not done enough second half and credit to Bonesse. I thought, you know, their physicality shone through the last kind of fifteen minutes and they were uh, they were able to get the winner late on. Yeah, quick word for Foster, just turning eighteen, but um he's been an absolute standout for us. He was again today and then um I missed it but he was sent off. Um do, do we know what for? Uh, the sent I think. I think he's just got frustrated. I think he's asked the referee a question but maybe in a uh, a slightly aggressive manner and, and the referees deemed that to be a second caution so he's, he's got himself sent off uh, and that's something that Fozzie will need to learn from um, but he was brilliant you know, he was brilliant he's just turned 18 today as I say so um, yeah he's, he's, he's such a composed player reads the game really well he's aggressive for such a young kid and he actually played the second half with one eye because he got a horrendous elbow to the, the eye in the first half and, and, and was struggling a little bit for vision in his right eye but he, he wanted to play through the game and the physio was comfortable enough that he was in a position to, to try and play the second half so uh, yeah, disappointed for him as well. Still four games to go uh, of the season and at home to Cowdenbeath next week. What, what are we looking for in the next four games? We want to try and collect as many points as we possibly can. Um, said it a number of times, you know, it's been a challenging first season for us, but if we can finish top eight, uh, you know, in, in what is a really competitive league of 18 teams, I think it would be an okay return for our very first year, and then we need to try and build on that next season. So yeah, we're just looking to collate as many points as possible, get a bit of momentum towards the end of the season, and then hopefully we can start to get some key players back who've been injured uh, for months and months now actually. So yeah, if we can get to the end of the season with as high a points tally as possible, try and secure top eight, top six and then we'll, we'll have a big push in 24-25. John, thanks very much. Thank you.